Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Turmel, and I'll be going to Toronto to register in the Toronto Centre Federal By-Election, and which is my 79th Guinness record. And uh, the Liberal Party are just putting out their ad by Justin Trudeau, their leader on for this by-election. So I've decided to take a look at it and if, see if it's any good before I end up in Toronto and have to make fun of it officially. Probably. Okay, here it is. The sneak preview of the ad that's coming out tomorrow for the Toronto Centre by-election by, by uh, the Liberal Party's Justin Trudeau. So it's called my priority is an economy that benefits us all, not just a few. I hope he tells us how he's going to do that. My priority is you. Ah, poetry too, you know. Real priorities we can watch. Let's see now. Sneak preview TV ad. New. I want to show you something. It's a new television ad and it goes to air Monday. The message is clear. My priorities are the middle class Canadians who built this country and an economy that benefits us all. Hmm, nice priorities. The Conservatives are focused on getting themselves out of a scandal. My focus is you. Ugh. This ad is possible because thousands of Canadians rallied together at the end of September in response to emails like this one. I'm so thankful for that generosity and that, together, we've created this opportunity to reach millions of Canadians. How many Canadians will see this ad, however, is up to you. If you can chip in before midnight, November the 6th, here's what's possible. We can reach a third more Canadian households than we planned. We can make sure all Canadians watching YouTube see our ad. And most importantly, we can take our message to Canadians before the Conservatives start their next round of attacks. You should watch the ad and chip in $5, just $125 after your tax credit to help put it on the air. Okay, we are going to watch Real Priorities. So here it is, real priorities. By now, you might have heard the Conservatives say that I have the wrong priorities. They mean, of course, that I don't share their priorities. I couldn't agree more. Unlike them, I won't be indifferent to whether or not people can afford to retire. Oh, he won't be indifferent. He won't be able to help, but at least he won't be indifferent. He'll feel bad about it. He won't be indifferent. Hmm. One. I won't shrug at unemployment or low wages for the middle class. He won't shrug. He won't be able to give you higher wages, but at least he won't shrug. <laughs> and I won't turn a blind eye to the fact that in the past 30 years, Canada's economy has more than doubled, while middle class incomes have only grown by around 15%. And he won't turn a blind eye to the fact that wages have lagged the growth in the economy. Wow. Imagine that. All these things he won't do. Now, what's good? I'm going to make fixing those problems job one. <laughs> so he's not going to fix them. But he's going to make fixing them. He's going to make looking for a fix job one. <laughs> Because my priority is the Canadians who built this country. Oh, isn't that heartrending? His priority is the people. The middle class, oh. not the political class. Oh, yes. My priority is an economy that benefits us all. Oh, his priority is an economy, a goal, a wonderful economy. That's a priority. You gonna tell us how to do it yet? Junior Trudeau. Not just a few. My priority is you. Ugh. Oh. So his priority is us. He's not gonna, what, he's not gonna turn a blind eye, he's not gonna shrug, he's gonna care, okay? Ah, oh, he's not gonna do anything about it, but he's gonna care. This is his message. And if somebody says that that priority is wrong. Come on, motherhood and apple pie, who's gonna say that priority is wrong? He cares for us. To say that's wrong is terrible, right? Ah, oh, what a. Then ask yourself, what are their priorities? Yes, people against motherhood and apple pie. What are their priorities? Ah, oh, that's it. What a piece of... Ah, oh, how sad. Okay, so he doesn't know what to do about it. You know, he's got his concern, he's got his priorities, and he won't turn it blind-eyed, he won't, you know, he won't shrug. So, what, what could be done? Well, I talk about the Argentine solution. In two times, in the 80s and in the 2000s, they're 
banking system crashed, they went broke, they had no money. And the unions forced the government to pay them with small denomination bonds they could use for HTML, hydro taxes, medical and licenses. And that gave everybody a job doing something working for the government or now more money out there, other kinds of jobs. No unemployment, more employment, and in 2006 Argentina paid off all their foreign debt when in 2001 they were broke. So it's doable. You YouTube Argentine solution and find out how we could all do everything that he has as his priorities.